Welcome to an introductory lesson on variables, and I'm doing this lesson with Lolo Mdlululi. My name is Erin Bradley, and I'm a school teacher at Brian Evan Primary School, which is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa. We have been using Purple Mash for over a year and a half, and have found that it has assisted us hugely in trying to establish some sort of coding knowledge. If you are stuck, you can just pay attention. I'm helping Lolo. Otherwise, you can just concentrate on your own. Now, Lolo, when you start right at the beginning, we must make a variable. So here it says variable, create a variable, called uh, it's a number variable. We're going to create a variable called count, and we're going to make it zero right in the beginning. It is a number type, and it's going to be called, the name of the variable is count. And it's going to be, so that must be right in the beginning. Drag this to the beginning. Let's play your code so we can just see. Now look over here. It says count equals. Lolo, what does it say there? Okay, so count is zero. Now let's close, stop that. Good. And now we want to make that every time we click on the lamp, count goes down one. Count goes down one. Over here, you can click on that add because that's the operation. What we're going to do to count. There we go. And we're going to subtract one. Now let's bring that code to underneath when clicked on the lamp. Yes. So when we click on the lamp, count, which is zero. Oh, sorry, Lolo, I've made a mistake. When you say, leave it there, leave it where it is, it must go up from zero to one to two. So it must go up. So it won't be subtract. Our operation is going to be add. Excellent. Well done. So we're going up one each time. Let's make it 0 0.5. So every time it's adding 0 0.5. So put that in and that'll be interesting. So it's adding a half each time. Good goal. Excellent. All right. So now if the variable count gets to three, we want to change the lamp into the genie. So bring this if statement there because we're counting up in halves each time. 0 0.5, 1. 0 1.52. Lolo, close this. We don't really need that. The if condition must go after adding the 0 0.5. So this if condition, if count equals 3, so we're going to make that 3. So if count equals 3, then something will happen. When clicking, you to bring it back in. Go on the lamp. We're clicking on the lamp. Good. And then we're going to change the variable. What did we do with the variable? We had to count. Okay, what did we do with the variable? Count. And remember, we were adding a number. Remember, it's a number. So it's got to be, it must be, we're adding one each time. That's it. Um, boys and girls, if you put it in inverted commas, the computer understands that we're talking about strings. One. Let's make it one, and over here, change that number to be something else. So make it a string. Click on string to choose string. Good goal. So let's change that to a number. Right, so when we click on the lamp, what do we want to happen? We want it to add one. So this plus equals means it's going up one, two, it's going up one each time. Now we bring in the if. If something occurs. Good. Now remember your if must be part of the when clicking lamp block. So it must be part of this block that I'm showing you now. So bring the if statement into that block. Into here. No, over here. As part of this block. After the counting. You, you go here. You drag and put it there. So now it's part of this big block. Look, now I want you to do it, eh? Put it in the right place. Now, if count equals 
3. If count equals 3, then what do we want? We want the lamp to do something. It must change into a genie. So bring the lamp into this part of the code. Lolo, you're doing a great job. Good. And then lamp, image, excellent. You got that one. Image will become genie. Now, before we do anything, you've done a marvelous job. We created a variable and we named it count. And we said it must start at zero. It's a number variable. Then when we click on the lamp, count changes. It becomes one, two, three. And if it becomes three, then it'll change. Let's play our code. Very good. Here's our variable watch. And that's going to show us what happens to count. So let's just drag that. Click on the lamp. Okay, now look what's happened. One. Click on it again. Two. Click on it again. Three. And a change to be a genie. So if count is three, then it must change to be a genie. So the image then changed to be the genie image. It was the lamp image. And now it's become the genie image. I'm so pleased to go on to the next challenge. And I think you've done marvelously. That's excellent. I need to get the genie back in the lamp by bringing the count variable to zero. When you click on the genie, you must count and it mustn't add. What must it do? It's going to start at three and we want to say three, two, one, zero. It's going to subtract. Good girl. When it equals, when count equals zero, what must happen? Genie must become a lamp. Okay, good. Let's play the code. I think you've done. That one looks right. Good. You got it. Well done. All right. Now, the real challenge. Excellent work there, Lolo. Um, let's go to this one. We're going to create a variable right in the beginning. We're creating a variable. And we can call it count like you did last time. It's a number variable. And name it. Call it count again. Change that to be count. So we're working with a number variable called count. Equals. And start off with a number that you want. Good. Now, let's bring in, bring in one of these objects. Excellent. And then we can return to, see here, he has all the properties. I wonder what will happen if you change that number over there to be a 2. Try change that 11 to a 2. 4, press enter. Oh, it's going. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, going down like that. What happens if we go, make, change that one, scale? What do you think it will happen there? Try make it a small number and let uh, like and see what happens. Make it like ten. That might still be that we can see it. Good. Now let's make it move. Look over here, Lolo. It says eight. So let's make the speed change. Give it a different speed. And let's see what happens if you play the code. Play the code. Now, let's go back to our, our code block. So, stop this. And now, we can go and say, my animal, bring that in. Good. And we'll make it move. So, let's go with speed. Make the animal move. And you bring in a number there. Make it add one. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Okay. Play it. Let's see what happens. What's going to... you clicking on My Animal 1. Then we're going to make My Animal 1 go down. Let's make it go down. And now we'll choose the speed. So go My Animal 1 over here and choose the speed. But bring in a timer. Brilliant. After one second, then bring my animal one over here. 
to make it go faster. Excellent. And now change the speed to increase speed by one. Okay, speed. Go with speed. Add one. So it's plus equals one. Now let's see what will happen if you play that code. Remember, we're going to click on my animal one. So click on it and then let's see what happens. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to make it. Go over here, bring it in uh, as part of this code. Every time we click on the animal, we're going to make count go up by one. If count equals, let's make it six. Equals, take this away. If count equals six. Count, take that away. If count equals and change that, that to six. So you're going to change the, the value that when count gets to six, then someone will win the game. So what you're going to do is remember count has to be changed. You've got to take that out and make it a six. Now put a six there. So change, bring in this change variable over there. Change variable must go there. Lolo, that's it. Change variable. Change variable must go. Lolo, count, go count, add. Now, every time you click on the animal, it's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, it'll start at two. And when it gets to six clicks, then it's going to be you won the game. So now we go over here, bring in the alert and put it in there. And we'll write, you won the game. Type in, you have won. You have won the game. Type in, you win. And now we're going to test your game. You've done a br brilliant job. So let's see how it works. Go there and play the game. Let's see how it works. Click on the monkey to, to make it go. You make sure you click on the monkey. And look, it's on three. Click on the monkey. It's going faster and faster. If you don't click on it, it's just going to keep on going faster. Oh, come on, girl. You got to, It's on three still. It's got to get to four. Make the animal a little bit bigger. So let's go to design mode and make this animal, click on it. Now make it not so small, make it 20. So the scale will be 20. Because it's too hard for us. You and me are not going to win this game unless we make it bigger. Okay, now let's go back. Now we'll try to play it again. Play it again. It's a little bit easier. Now remember, make sure you hit. It's three. Come on, you've got to click on it. Maybe it's going too fast, so let's slow it down. Make the speed maybe 0 0.5. So it goes a little bit faster, but not so fast. That's it, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. After time, are we going to have the timer? If we're going to bring in the if, bring the if in over here, over here, the if statement. If and put it over here, hey, over there. That's it. Now let's put the timer. If timer equals, let go, let the timer in there. Bring this right to the top. Go right to the top. After two seconds, make the timer. That's it. Call it time. Time equals naught. You are change. And the name of the variable time to add. And make it one. One. If time equals ten. Okay, then we'll go alert. 
You lose. That's it, type. You lose. You lose. Good. Now take this one away because that's wrong. Now let's play your game. If time equals, if time equals 10, make it 10. Okay, now let's play your game. Now let's click on your monkey. Don't miss it. That's it. Come on. Now let's see. Purposely try to see if you can lose the game. So let's see if it will work if you lose. Okay, let's go play again.